Hey there everyone, Kurt Singh here with a Jungle Cup team. It's got Mantine in the lead with Wing Attack, Aerial Ace, Ice Beam, Shadow, Gildantula as the safe switch, Volt Switch, Lunge, Discharge, and then Toxicroak on the back end with Counter, Sludge Bomb, and Mud Bomb. Jumping right into it, you got Mantine on the lead into Talonflame, and this is a fairly decent matchup. You do take damage from Fly or Brave Bird, so I am going to respect the fly here. The flame charge, though, isn't going to do anything to you, other than they could ramp themselves up. Aerial Ace, I believe, is the way to go here. Um, it would provide some nice neutral damage. Ice Beam would be really good against the flying type, but it's pretty neutralized against the fire typing. So there, they do shield one and then let one go through. And I think here I decide to let this one go through as well. It is a fly and you can see there it does a decent chunk, but you can live it. Not too bad. Um, I think it was in this five five game set that I do get hit with a brave bird and that does a lot of damage. So here they bring in or switch to risk cash and I'm just gonna let this go. Doesn't matter what it is, not worth the shield at this point. Uh, Skull does take me out. And so now I'm gonna bring in Toxicroak because although both Galvantula and Toxicroak would take super effective from the, what is it? it I know they're fat, their charge move is Mud Bomb, but what are they throwing? Um, uh, mud, it's not Mud Slap, it's, um, I'm, I'll have to check on that. I'm brain farting on that one right now. Um, <clears throat> even though both would take super effective damage from that, I felt like the um, counters and getting to a mob bomb on Toxicroak would do better against the Wish Cash. That's what I was, where I was trying to go with that. So here, Galvantula is able to take out the Talonflame. Gonna go for a lunge right away, uh, expecting a shield, which I do get, but now they're debuffed. So that's gonna help me here with having no shield. I'm assuming this is gonna be a rock slide but they do just body slam, and that gets me deep into the yellow, and this is not looking good for me. I'm able to reach the lunge here, I think just as they got to another body slam. Throw that, and it takes them out. I was not expecting that. That's a good first game for my opponent. I do go 5-0 in this particular set, so it seemed like a pretty strong team. I have not managed to play it today. I did these yesterday. Um, I did play one one game actually, and I did win it. So currently I'm six and zero. We'll see how it goes. I'm gonna play some after this video. So there, I throw an ice beam into the what was that swampert, and now I'm gonna go for another ice beam into this um, what is that Clodskyer Clodswire, and they let that go to through as well. So they're into the yellow now. I do respect the Stone Edge. Shield that up. And at this point here, I go for another Ice Beam. And this will take them out or it'll get a shield. I'm, expect I'm expecting they'll shield this one. They do commit a shield. And what do I want to do? I feel like this is going to be another Stone Edge. It is, so I do commit a shield. And now I believe I can just do an Aerial Ace. And that should take them out. If it doesn't quite take them out, another uh, wing attack or two, and it'll take them out. But they shield. So I was like, okay, well, they don't want to see Mantine with something. So I switched into Toxicroak here and instantly regretted it, thinking, oh, they're going to throw an earthquake and one shot me. But they have their running Stone Edge and uh, Sludge Bomb. So that worked out for me. I'm going to go throw the Sludge here at Mandibuzz. It does a decent chunk, actually. I was impressed. And the counters are adding up as well with the dark typing. But one aerial ace here and I'm done for. So they throw that and take me out. But I'm able to align my Galvantula now. And you can see there those volt switches are doing quite a bit of damage. No more shields left, so I do have to take this dark pulse. And at this point I'm going to try to farm down. I am able to farm down. I'm going to lunge whatever comes in. It is the Swampert. 
So that will at least debuff it, if not take it out. It is enough to take it out. And then one volt switch, I get to another lunge, and this will take out again. So another really close game. Well played to my opponent. I did have, well, it wasn't super close. I still had quite a bit of health on the Mantine. So here, Talonflame again into Mantine. They switched right away, and I was a bit confused by this because they switched into Scrafty, which is taking super effective from the Wing Attack and from Aerial Ace, and they can't really hit me with anything. So I think they uh, misclicked, basically, I think is what they did. Either that or they just forgot about the typing or what the fast move was. And here, yeah, see, I think they messed up because they just gave up there. So into the next match here, Swampert into Mantine on the lead. Again, honestly, a really good lead for Mantine. Doesn't matter what they throw. Sludge probably would do, like Sludge Wave, would probably do a decent amount of damage. Hydro Cannon doesn't do anything. And I'm going to farm up quite a bit of energy and then go for an Ice Beam. They do get to another move here and throw. And it is just another Hydro Cannon, so that doesn't do too much. Go for the Ice Beam here. And that does a nice chunk. What would that be? A third, probably? I'm going to go for the Aerial Ace here, kind of expecting them to shield this time. But they do let it go. So that's all right. Bring back in the Talonflame. And I'm able to reach the Aerial Ace. So that's going to put a lot of pressure on a shield here. Looking to get their first shield. Do you get their first shield? And at this point, again, I believe, yeah, I just let it go. There's no point. Um, no point committing the shield at that point. Flame car Charge doesn't quite KO, and, but I'm not quite able to get that last second Aerial Ace off. So here I'm going to bring in the Galvantula, and unfortunately that Flame Charge obviously ramped up their, their health, and they're able to get to another one. I do commit a shield. I'm able to reach this the Discharge here. Kind of like it's 50-50, right? They shield, so Lunge would have probably been better, but they switched out anyways. Hey, but did you see how much damage that one Flame Charge did? Um, or not flame charge, the one incinerate after they boosted. So Toxie here is able to reach a mud bomb and all kinds of lag. It is, it does connect for super effective and I don't know, I don't remember here, did they lose service? If I'm sure they come back. Farming up, farming up, yeah, and there they're back again. They, they hit a move, so I wasn't. I wasn't playing around, wasn't in a risk, um, giving them a move and then losing. Miguel Vanchel is virtually dead. So I farmed up two moves, had the Sludge Bomb loaded, and then throw that at the Talonflame. So a good, good game to my opponent there, well played. Um, tough if it is the, like a, uh, a lag issue, feel bad for them, but it, I mean, it happens to everybody, it happens to me. I can't. I can't just stop playing and then end up losing or let them win just because. Uh, so here you got Vigoroth. I gotta respect that Rock Slide, which I think they threw there. I'm gonna go for the Aerial Ace. They do shield that, and now I'm expecting them to let this one go through after they see the Aerial Ace. So I'm gonna go for the Ice Beam. Uh, it does connect, gets them deep into the red, and I switch hoping to catch the Rock Sled as the, the fighting type in Toxie resists that. They bring in their own Mantine, so this is not looking overly good. I'm going to throw the Sludge Bomb here. I feel like, um, yeah, they let that go. Not really any point in them shielding that, I guess. They're able to farm down, and now they've got quite a bit of energy. I, I let it go. Why did I let that go? It is an ice beam and that does a huge amount of damage, but one volt switch actually takes them out. So that worked out well there. Got a diggersby in the back. 
Uh, a toxic croak definitely would have been handy to have, but I'm going to lunge them, which will debuff, and it actually does a decent amount of damage. I was impressed. They switch out, and I think this is my win con here, is they switched out and to they reset their debuff. However, unless they're running Hyper Beam, they, there's nothing they can really throw at Mantine to threaten it. And I'm able to get their last shield there with Ice Beam. And I believe I've put up my shield here just in case. And it's just a Fire Punch. And they get to another move here, and I was like, oh no, they baited me, and now they're going to hide it. Hyper Beam, and it was just a Scorching Sands. So I was like, oh, okay, cool. Get to the Ice Beam here, throw that, and that will be taken care of the Diggers Bee. And you guys will be able to see here, that was a 5-0 set, not the super cleanest, obviously. There was those, like that one game that the person gave up, another one where it's either lag or they just stopped tapping for a bit or whatever. Uh... But anyways, yeah, Carbink as the reward. If you guys have made it this far, I would super appreciate it. Leave a like or a comment, subscribe, let me know what you guys think of the videos, and I look forward to seeing you guys all in the next one. I did hit Ace on this battle here, so let me know how you guys are doing in your battles. See you in the next one.